the first type of question that can be asked from mot is on bond order or bond strength or bond length they all are related to each other the next variety of question can be asked on the stability of the molecule that also depends on the bond order and third type of question is on the magnetic behavior let's try to solve first question based on it the correct order of stability of o2 o2 negative o2 positive and o2 two negative ion and these are the options bond order is directly proportional to the stability of the molecule that means higher the bond order more stable will be the molecule for the bond order calculation first of all you have to calculate the total number of electrons so let's calculate the total number of electrons in o2 molecule in o2 there are two oxygen atom and the one oxygen atom has eight electrons so there will be 8 plus 8 means 16 electrons o2 positive ion o2 positive ion is formed by the loss of one electron so here you have to subtract one from 16 so you will get 15 electrons now in o2 negative negative ion is formed by the gain of one electron so here you have to add 1 to 16 so you will get 17 electrons now in o2 two negative for two negative charge you have to add two electrons in 16 and you will get 18 electron count now here is a trick for the bond order calculation here i have written number of electrons for 14 electron count bond order will be 3 when you move from 14 to 8 bond order decreases and for 8 electrons bond order will become 0 similarly when you move from 14 to 20 again bond order decreases and for 20 electrons bond order will become 0 so here you can see 15 electron count will have the highest bond order and for the highest bond order this molecule will be most stable least bond order means this molecule will be least stable now match your answer with the given option so here you have to find out in which o2 positive ion is given on the first place so in option c and option d o2 positive ion is given on the first preference so we can eliminate option a and option b now find out the option in which o2 two negative is given on the least preference so here you can see o2 two negative is given on the least preference that means option c will be the right option for this question now come to the second question according to molecular orbital theory which of the list ranks the nitrogen species in terms of increasing bond orders so first of all you have to calculate the total number of electrons present in each species so let's calculate the total number of electrons in n2 in n2 there are two nitrogen atom in one nitrogen there are seven electrons So in N2 there will be 7 plus 7 is equal to 14 electrons. In N2 negative ion. Negative ion is formed by the gain of one electron. So here you have to add one electron to 14, and in this way you will get 15 electrons. In N2 two negative. Here you have to add two electrons to 14, and you will get 16 electron count for N2 two negative ion. And now we are going to use our bond order trick. or 14 electron bond order is equal to 3 when you move from 14 to 8 bond order decreases to 0 and when you again move from 14 to 20 bond order again decreases to 0 for 20 electrons for each increase of electron bond order decreases by 0.5 so for 15 electron count bond order will be 2.5 and for 16 there will be two bond order that means n2 molecule will have the maximum bond order and n2 two negative ion will have the minimum bond order so here you have to find the option in which n2 is given on the first preference so in option a b and c n2 is given on the first preference so here we can eliminate option d now you have to find out the option in which n2 two negative is given on the least preference so here you can see option b will be the right option for this question now come to the third question which one of the following molecular species has the smallest bond length bond length is inversely proportional to the bond order that means higher the bond order lower will be the bond length so first of all you have to calculate the total number of electrons present in each species so in o2 molecule there are two oxygen atom one oxygen has eight electron 
So in O2 molecule, there will be 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 electrons. In O2 positive ion, positive charge is developed by the loss of one electron. So here you have to subtract one electron from 16 and in this way you will get 15 electrons. In O2 2 positive ion, here you have to subtract 2 from 16. So here you will get 14 electrons. In O2 2 negative ion, here negative charge is formed by the gain of electrons. So here you have to add 2 electrons to 16 and in this way you will get 18 electrons for O2 2 negative ion. Now let's apply the bond order trick. For 14 electron count bond order will be 3 and when you move from 14 to 8 electron bond order further decreases to 0 and when you move from 14 to 20 electron count again bond order decreases to 0. Bond order is inversely proportional to bond length. That means when you move from 14 to 20 electron count, bond order decreases but bond length increases. In the question, you have to find out the option in which smallest bond length is given. So for 14 electron count, bond order will be maximum and for maximum bond order, bond length will be minimum. So option D will be the right option for this question. Now come to the fourth question. Which of the following is paramagnetic? And these are the options. So here is a trick for the paramagnetism. All odd electron species are paramagnetic except 10 electron and 16 electron species. So let's calculate the total number of electrons present in each molecule. In N2, there are two nitrogen atoms. In one nitrogen, there are seven electrons. So in N2 molecule, there will be seven plus seven is equal to 14 electrons. In NO molecule, nitrogen has 7 electrons, oxygen has 8 electrons, so there will be 15 electrons. In CO molecule, carbon has 6 electrons, oxygen has 8 electrons, so there will be 14 electrons. In F2, there are 2 fluorine atoms. Each fluorine has 9 electrons, so there will be 18 electrons. So here you can see only NO molecule is an odd electron species. So that means this will be paramagnetic. So your option B will be the right option for this question. Now come to the fifth question. Which of the following doesn't exist under normal conditions? And these are the options. Beryllium belongs to second group of the periodic table. And second group elements form two positive ion by the loss of two electrons. So beryllium two plus ion may exist. Rest of the options are molecules. So for molecules, there is a rule. If you get bond order less than 0 or equal to 0, in that case molecule does not exist. So first of all, calculate the total number of electrons present in each molecule. In beryllium 2, there will be 2 beryllium atom. Each beryllium has 4 electrons. So there will be 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 electrons. In B2 molecule, boron has 5 electrons. So you will get 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 electrons. Lithium has 3 electrons, so there will be 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 electrons. Now we have the bond order trick. For 14 electron count, there will be 3 bond order. But when you move from 14 to 8 electron, bond order decreases and for 8 electron, you will get bond order 0. So here for beryllium 2 molecule, 8 electrons, that means bond order will be equal to 0. For B2 molecules, 10 electrons. For 10 electrons, bond order will be more than 0. That means B2 molecule may exist. Beryllium 2 molecule will not exist. Now come to lithium 2 molecule. For lithium 2 molecule, there are 6 electrons. And 6 electrons is beyond our bond order trick. So for that, you have to use the proper way for the calculation of bond order. First of all, fill the electrons in molecular orbitals. So you will get sigma 1s2, sigma star 1s2, sigma 2s2. Now use the formula nd minus na over 2 where nd is the number of bonding electrons minus number of anti-bonding electrons. So there are 2 plus 2, 4 electrons in bonding and 2 electrons in anti-bonding. So here you will get 4 minus 2 over 2. So in this way you will get bond order 1. That means lithium 2 molecule will also exist. So here only Be2 molecule will not exist. 
that has bond order 0. So your option B will be the right option for this question. Now come to the sixth question. Bond order of 1.5 is shown by and these are the options. So here is a trick for bond order calculation. You have to use the formula bond order is equal to 3 minus difference from 14 electrons over 2. So let's calculate bond order for O2 molecule. In O2, there are 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 electrons. Now place the values in the given formula. So bond order is equal to 3 minus 14 minus 16 over 2. Here you just have to take the difference from the 14. Forget about the sign of the difference. So here you will get 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So the bond order for O2 will be 2. Now come to the O2 positive ion. Here you have to subtract 1 electron from 16. So in this way you will get 15 electrons. So when you place value in the formula you will get 3 minus 14 minus 15 over 2. So in this way you will get 3 minus 1 by 2. When you solve it you will get 5 by 2. And when you divide it you will get 2.5 bond order. Now come to O2 negative ion. Here for the negative charge you have to add 1 electron to 16. So you will get 17 electrons. Now place the values in the formula. So here you will get 3 minus 14 minus 17 over 2. When you solve it, you will get 3 minus 3 by 2. And when you solve it, you will get 3 by 2. And when you divide it, you will get bond order 1.5. Now come to O2 2 negative ion. For 2 negative charge, you have to add 2 electrons to 16. So in this way, you will get 18 electrons. Now place the values in the formula. So you will get 3 minus 14 minus 18 over 2. So you will get 3 minus 4 by 2. When you solve it, you will get bond order 1. Now match your answer with the given option. So here you will get option B will be the right option for this question.